Are you serious? Are you serious? Wow! If I hope you was with us last night on Sunday Night Live. A powerful time in the Lord. Literally, a powerful time in the Lord. We had uh, our chat rooms were filled last night. Uh, we were featured on Blog TV for an hour and a half. Of course, livestream.com and at our website at paulbeckleyprophecy.com. We had crowds of over 850 people in the chat rooms for most of the, of the evening. And it was unbelievable. 42 salvations. What? I mean, you can't have a better Pastor Appreciation Day than 42 salvations on a Sunday night in a live online broadcast. Powerful. Don't miss those Sunday night lives. They're from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I just want to praise the Lord for that. A couple more things to let you know before I get into some demons and zombies. But our brand new DVD is out. It's ready and you can uh, you can get a hold of them. Check it out. It's at our website at paulbeckleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbeckleyprophecy.com. This is a DVD. God's got one more move. It's the entire service from that Sunday night in revival, powerful time, where we preached a message in New York City at Harvest Army Church International. So I want you to know they are here now, and we made it to where they're very, uh, kept the cost down on them, so make them easier for people to attain them. Also, ladies, yes, the pink travel mugs are here. Are you serious? Jesus saves travel mugs are here. If you check it out on our website, be blessed of the Lord. All right, let's get into the teaching. In Matthew, in Matthew chapter 17, uh, let me read to you, starting at verse 14. We're going to talk about the lunatic spirit. And then I have four accounts here recently in the news of the lunatic spirit. Let me read to you something. In Matthew 17, verse 14, And when they were come to the multitude, they came to him, to, talking about Jesus, a certain man, kneeling down to him, saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic, and sore vexed, for oftentimes he falleth into the fire, and often into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Jesus answered and said, O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you and bring him hither to me? And Jesus rebuked the devil and departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Now, there are different types of demon spirits that operate in people's lives. The zombie apocalypse has been going on now for about six months. It's not a new demon. It's actually an ancient demon that lived in the demoniac of Kadera, the man who stripped himself naked and roamed among the dead, among the tombs. Superhuman strength. They couldn't contain him. He could break chains, and they couldn't bind him. I believe he was also a cannibalistic zombie-type uh, demon in him because he lived among the tombs naked and he would go into those tombs and begin to eat on the fresh corpses according to Jewish legend. It does make sense because what we have going on today with the zombie apocalypse is people stripping down naked and running up violently and biting and tearing people's faces off and biting and eating on people. While naked with superhuman strength and have to either be shot and killed or tasered several times and restrained by several amount, large amounts of people to bring them in to, uh, to subdue them. Now, Nick and Deesh have sent me four articles. Let me read the first one. A, 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 men saw a naked woman walking in the woods not far from their home. Uh, and Hernando County Sheriff's Office said, uh, told us that a woman, age 42, her name was Igna Marie Swanson. She was age 42, and she was walking around naked. And there was two men saw her and actually took a picture of her with her cell phone just to prove that they weren't lying. And uh, now they finally found this woman, 
And it says that later these, this woman walked into a house. First of all, she's walking along the side of the road. The man pulled up to her and said, uh, they pulled up next to her and said, looked at her and said, are you all right? She responded, yeah, but I'm a little confused. She was naked, walking along the side of the road. Colin said the woman then walked away into the wooded area. They snapped photos of her. They said they took the pictures because they figured no one would believe them, and this would be evidence. A short time later, while the men were looking at a home, they said the woman walked inside naked with a cross in her hands, and she held up the cross, made a circle, and begin to chant, Antichrist, Antichrist, this meeting is over. Okay, clearly there is demonic activity going on with this woman. And later she ends up being shot and killed by two police officers when confronting them. Uh, Simpson said deputies had identified Swanson's body with an antique gun. She had uh, approached these officers with a gun. She was still naked, and they shot and killed her. There's definitely demon possession was going on there. But that wasn't the only case. In Florida, there's an inmate that has been found fit to be executed despite his history of mental illness. A Florida judge has ruled that the diagnosed paranoid schizophrenic who believes he is the, quote, Prince of God and is convinced that he will resurrect to sit for eternity at God's right hand is sane and can be put to death. Well, he says he generally believes he is the Prince of God. Again, demon activity. Is the man got schizophrenia? He probably does. But what happens with, with people with mental illness, a lot of times demons can take possession of their soul because they can play upon them and prey upon the vulnerable. And the battleground of your soul is in your mind. And if Satan can get you confused and dazed, and this is why drugs and alcohol are so dangerous to open the doors of hell to allow demon activity to come in, you will begin to start acting like a lunatic. In this case, uh, the man says he couldn't control his son. He'd fall in the water, fall in the fire. We don't know what all he may have been doing. We know there's, these, there's many types of demons that manifest, but people with schizophrenia, people with mental disorders, sometimes are very susceptible. They're, the battle, they're, they're weak and not ability to fight off demon spirits. And uh, uh, folks, and they get a lot of times grand delusion and become possessed with demons. Not all mental ill people are possessed. Please, please, please understand that. But in uh, some cases, they are. When a woman's walking naked and walks into a house and says the, you know, with a cross, chanting something against the Antichrist, that's a sign to When the police officer in New Jersey had three Bibles laying on his front seat and he went into a house and, and beat up on a woman in a wheelchair and attacked a four-year-old boy while naked, Listen, this and had superhuman strength. This is demon possession. And now also, there was a man who uh, was acting strangely. He offered to die to prove that he is God. Uh, and uh, he walked up to a police officer. Uh, the Crossroads Church of God couldn't deal with him. They called the police. They came to the church. The man was saying to them, I am God and said, I'm willing to die to prove it. His quote, science and God are the same. And he was trying to save mankind. Again, we have a, a, a Messiah type complex in a way. Uh, again, another individual who thinks they're God, they're confused, no question about it. Schizophrenia, no doubt's probably involved, but demon spirits moving. Why? Again, religious symbols. What did he do? He went to the parking lot of a church. And did you notice that, and I'm, I hate to say this, but Randy Travis has been uh, with drunken driving both times that he's been arrested for DUIs. It's because he drove uh, completely drunk and parked in the parking lot of churches trying to find help. People are seeking for help. Pray for them. 
Pray for them. These things are going on, folks. Another man held a gun to his head and said, I am God. It just continues. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days.